hi friends this is loli welcome back to the channel today i bring you three amazing sunflower diys let's get right into it so for the first diy i'm going to use this little sign from the dollar tree and i'm going to paint the inside of it using my folk art paint and primer nope my folk art chalk paint <laughs> And then I took my Black & Decker paint and primer and I'm going to cover the outside frame. I'm not doing the inside part, I'm just doing that edge there and the rest of the frame in the outside. I gave it a total of two coats. Then I'm coming in with these sunflower stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut off the little, I don't know what you call this, little bulbs of um, sunflowers and I'm going to place them right there on that corner just being very careful to try to keep them nicely spaced out and to have the bottom section be completely against that bottom frame. Then I took one of the smaller sunflowers from the back there and I placed it in the bottom, placed a medium sized one right there in the other corner and a smaller one in between those and it's trying to be random with it but at the same time leaving some spacing. Then I had these little leaves I also wanted to put in there to so they would look like they were falling off the balls. So here I'm going to take this rubber transfer and add it. So I had to move those little petals out of the way and I cut that piece that says Everyday Miracles, placed it right there in the middle and I'm going to just use a little Django block once everything is nice and straight and scrape it down to adhere it to the surface. My friends, thank you so much for clicking on my video, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And to my subscribers, thank you so much for your unending support. I truly appreciate each one of you. Thank you. And for those that have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Let's go ahead and join the Lolidis Creations family and subscribe. It is all free and it means the world to me. And here we are all completed. <laughs> what do you think? My friends, so this video is part of our collaboration. It's the What Would You Make Challenge and it is hosted monthly by Zena from OK at Home DIY and Connie from Connie's Workshop and DIYs. And the guest host this month is going to be Deco Easy. And all of these talented ladies are amazing. So don't forget to go over to the playlist so you can see all of their videos and all of the videos of all the other creators that are participating in this challenge. Their work is amazing. Go on over and check it out. I will have the link to their channels, to the playlist, in my description box below and i also go to pin it on my comments thank you so much again guys let's get on to the next diy for our second inspiration piece today i'm going to use one of these wooden candle not candle holders pencil holders from the dollar tree and removing the sticker and we are going to go ahead and use some paint first i started with my white paint and primer from back and decker and i'm going to paint the midsection of each one of these sides Then I took my black folk car paint and I'm painting the top portion and the bottom portion as you see right there. And I repeated this with all four of the sides, trying to keep nice straight lines. There you go. And I also painted the bottom because you know, this gotta be completed. And here we looking so far, I'm drying it with my heat gun. And once that dried, I'm going to come in with some more of my white black and deca paint and primer and paint that section there the ridge at the top as you see there and I also painted the inside then I took some masking tape and I'm going to tape it off to create a pinstripe all along the sides on here as you see me do right there I added the tape to create the pinstripe on both the top and the bottom Then I took some moss from Waverly and I'm going to go ahead and paint that in. But guess what? You see that? I did not put <laughs> the tape on the other bottom part. So, oops, I have to go ahead and take that off, wipe it off, and I'm going to tape the bottom now. <laughs> it happens, guys. Brain gas, I guess. And now that we are properly taped up, now I'm going to go ahead and take that moss color and go all the way around, creating the little pinstripe 
right in between that and the same thing that i did here on the bottom i did the same thing with the top section there and created a, another pin stripe at the top now we are taking off the tape i love this part to see how crisp it came out i had no bleeds it came out really really cute just remove that tape right there and that's what we're looking for so far but now we are going to clean up that section that i messed up in the beginning so i'm just touching it up with some of my black paint so now we're going to take this sunflower from the pack we used before and place it right in the middle right there as you see in between the white and now we're going to add some floral foam to the bottom of this as well i'm going to attach this with a little bit of hot glue because it kept popping off so i just added that you can use a different um, glue i wanted mine to be like popped up a little bit but if you want it flat use a different glue then I added some of my wood hot glue to the bottom of the planter, added my foam there, and I'm just going to use these flowers, but I didn't like it how they came out. I don't know, what do you think? So I scratched that and I went with some boxwood instead. So I'm adding this boxwood from Walmart into my planter. I added some Spanish moss to cover up the foam and that is it. For the third inspiration piece today, I'm gonna use one of these wood rounds from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it using my folk art rich black chalk paint. And I'm going to add this stencil from Timu. These guys were amazing. I love how this stencil came out. If you would like to purchase it, the link for it will be in my description box below. So I went over and I ta taped this down onto my wood round, making sure that I had a nice spacing on it. I wanted the top to be a little bit lower than the bottom. So that's what I did. Now I'm coming in with some Mod Podge, just, you know, putting it all along the entire wood round to seal the stencil down so it will not bleed as much. Once it dried, I came in with some of this yellow from apple barrel but it was coming out too thin so i came in with this mace chalk paint from waverly and i'm going to cover the entire petals and little middle section of the sunflower with this paint i gave it two coats of it and then once that was covered with that color then i'm coming back in with that yellow that i used in the beginning and placing it on top of it so now we can have that vibrant color and great coverage i did the same thing with the bottom sections of the b right next to the hello sign there as you see right there all right so then we are going to do another coat of this yellow i wanted this to be nice and vibrant i wanted this to scream summer happiness so there it is so now i took some of this moss from waverly and i gave the word hello three coats of it here i'm using makeup brushes or makeup sponges for each one of these i just find that they're great for stenciling so now I'm using my white, black and decker paint and primer to color in the word summer using this color and the top section of my bees as well. Friends, this stencil I got from Timu, it is awesome. If you're interested in getting it, I will be putting a link for it in my description box below. And this is how we're looking so far. Now I took down some of this chestnut color from Apple Barrel and I'm going to add it at the part that is the center of the sunflower and i'm not doing it too thick i just wanted it to have like a hint of it so i'm adding it there just stenciling it quite quietly then i took some brown oxide also from um uh what do you call it again apple barrel <laughs> and i added it on top just to give some variation to the color and now it's reveal time guys i love this it's a little bit nerve wracking and excited at the same time so i'm removing the stencil to see what we ended up with and oh i was happy with the results it looked cute i did have some bleeds but hey nothing that we couldn't fix so i just came in with a very thin paintbrush and some of my black polcar paint and i'm just cleaning up those edges Then I'm closing up all those little gaps that the stencil left with just using a little small brush and removing those weird little, I don't know, gaps on there. 
I did that with the white and I'm also going to do the same thing using the most color to fix the hello word. Then I took this beaded garland from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the beads from it. And first I was thinking I would put in this on here as white. I placed it on there. I was like, you know what? I, I like it, but I needed a little bit more of a pop of color. So I decided to take these bead, beads out and paint them. So you see me here taking a little baggie. I added all my beads to that little baggie. I added some of that maize color paint from Waverly. And I also added the yellow paint from Apple Barrel. They have a nice contrast between these two yellows and give it a little bit more interest so it will look a little marble. So I did that, shaked it up, took a little bit of wax paper and I'm dumping my beads onto the wax paper. Making sure to spread them out nicely and I'm going to take my heat gun and accelerate the drying process here. But first I wanted to divide them so I use a skewer to have some space in between my beads. And then I'm coming in with my heat gun to go ahead and dry these up. Once they were dried, I'm going to position it right back onto the jute cord that they were on before and position my hanger right back in place. Then I realized, you know what, I'm going to put this round on here, but I didn't like that those two little plastic pieces were in the way. So I took my hanger off and I'm going to put the hole through the front so the plastic piece will be in the back instead of the front so it will be easier for me to position this white round this white round i painted for another project but i didn't use it this is one from the dollar tree and i just had painted it ahead of time with some of my black and decker white paint and primer now i'm using some wood hot glue and added it all around the perimeter of the round and we are going to attach the little ring right on there on top of the jute and look how cute that looks already. Oh my goodness. And you can stop here, but you know me already. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I took some of this Buffalo check ribbon that I got from, I believe it was Johan Fabrics on sale for Christmas and some of this uh, burlap ribbon also I got from Carolina Pottery. And I'm going to create a messy bow. So I just cut off two pieces of each one of these, having the burlap ones being bigger than the buffalo check ones I did two, two of both crisscross them like this making sure that they are nicely positioned then I took this ribbon from the Dollar Tree that's like honeycombed and I'm going to cut two pieces also that are smaller than the buffalo check but there I went a little bit too long so I'm just trimmed it up a little bit more and what I did was just take these dovetail my, my ends but I realized that one of my buffalo check ribbons was a little too short so I cut a new piece and replaced it with it. Then I dovetail all of my ribbons. Here I'm just burning off the excess, the edges of this one because it tends to fray. So I'm just making sure that that is nice and neat. Then I'm crisscrossing them like you see there. I'm dovetailing now the Dollar Tree ribbon and positioning them on top of the buffalo check like you see there. And I repeated the same thing with the other ribbon as well, dovetailing the edges as you see there. And now I'm going to take some of this burlap fabric that I got from Dollar Tree. I am fraying the edges both in, in all four sides of it. If you see me there pulling them off, I had a piece that was a little bit longer than the other. So I took my scissors and I trimmed it off to have everything look a bit neater. You see me there trimming it off and I was really happy with the fraying that I had on there. So I just added, a, I did one more. <laughs> And I'm going to put that piece in between the burlap fabric and the buffalo check. And once I was happy with the placement, I'm going to go ahead and take, take it and squish it like you see there, just bringing it all together in the center. I took a piece of jute cord and tied it in the middle and did a double knot. Tied up my bow, fluffed it all up, making sure everything that all the ribbons are straight. And now we are going to glue them right there. So here I'm just making sure that I don't completely cover the word. Then I added some hot glue to the back 
and position it right there. Held it in place till it dried and pretty much that's it. And here is your final reveal. Let me know what you think. Let me know which one is your favorite. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. And if you would like to watch another of my videos, here is a great suggestion. Thank you so much for watching. You are awesome. Have an amazing day. Bye.